ka megalia state disaster management authority hnekasngi ka khar ar tarik risaw ar jar ar pulai kalapanlong ya ka mock drill ha bai dei bat ka jingki jumai ha ka jela ne ka mock drill class dang ha ka por khandai baje ha ka ba ki board district ki arm force ki parliamentary force ndrf sdrf police fire and emergency service hospital school colleges ngo nangja kinong chongchong bat ki volunteer jong ki kanun ba phair ba phair kum ka bharat scout and guide indian red cross society nss adapta mitra volunteers bat ki wei ke la yesim mentalang hanong ba shilong ya kene ka mock drill apan long ha polo ha surok polo sawa indo ha polo supermarket ha kidukan ke bedon ha yo polo hotel polo towers sbi building mecel lumjing shai samkham ti petrol pump urkaliar family health workers nursing of schools ganesh das government hospital lomali saint sevier school polo pontorum kra golfling secondary school shillong secondary school forest colony but kiwi kiwi ki jaka located at the guwahati and uh, uh, we have been informed by the scoc the state emergency uh, center that some earthquake has been struck here the, the, the with the ap center and the heavy earthquake is there one of our teams which was in the familiarization exercise in the uh, jentia hill that has been mobilized order and we have reached to the staging area which is uh, located at the polo ground 
from there we have got the initial information and after that uh, just uh, right now we have been uh, ordered to uh, reach this particular worksite which is the polo uh, supermarket uh, initially initial information the rest of the victims goes where inside the market in the morning they have been already evacuated by the local volunteers and their community and some of the critically trapped victim uh, initial information is the three or four they are critically trapped here and for that a specialized response of the ndrf is required for this reason the team has been mobilized we have a complete setup and we are we are self contained in all aspect even in the communication and the medical uh, we are independent to work in an independent situation in this particular worksite initially we, when we uh, uh, reached here we just coordinated with the coordinator and the incident commander of this site and he just given me the information and after the information we cut off the utilities like electricity or any hazards and after a uh, utility cut off uh, we just gathered information about the victim and for this reason we have uh, two methods like a canine search and a technical search my we have the two of the dogs with us the canine search already been done and after canine search uh, they have indicated that on the second floor the, there is a critically trapped victim who has some red injury and the red the red triaged victim we have already triaged them we are going to just evacuate that victim our search and rescue teams are getting ready and high rise rescue is required because of the rest of the stairs cases and everything has been collapsed and we have to go by rope rescue method so very soon we will start and technical search has already done and uh, the condition of victim is stable there very soon we are going to start the operations to retrieve all the victim and send them stabilize them and send to the uh, higher medical uh, medical hospitals so please how many persons have, have been uh, team is comprised of the 47 person of with uh, all together uh, with all elements including the dog canine squad uh, medical staff and the communication staff and the rescuers even the medical responders and search and rescue specialized the rope rescue responders team commander everyone so 47 in aggregate we do have uh, with the assistant for our team with the all specialized equipment So can you please elaborate about the specialized equipment that you are using here? Uh, here uh, we have uh, actually most of the equipment those are required here because it is the very scarcity of the place. Most of the equipment we have displayed at the staging ground. Whatever the equipment has required, it is very close to us. We will just go uh, all there. And uh, especially we have a base of operation. We have the initial equipment that has already been placed. For this communication equipment, we have the vehicle mounted antenna. This is a satellite antenna in case of the. communication disruption this will communicate with the through satellite to anywhere we can voice call on voice we uh, call on video calls and we can even save the data sir is it any different uh, in this going to the topology how it will be in the place very right question uh, actually the meghalaya and all of the north east region falls under the seismic zone 5 and in case of the as the demographic changes and the construction has gone on for the last uh, um, few 30 40 years Um, the, uh, and the, the population in the Shillong, especially Shillong and Tura city, are very much vulnerable. Uh, for the magnitude earlier, we have faced in 1890s when it being happened a long time. But if we, um, such magnitude we face such mega earthquake or the such uh, magnitude, certainly it will be very devastating, uh, devastating situation. Just saying that we are just uh, creating certain scenarios. Uh, The present scenario is of the earthquake. Uh, the NDRF here is now presenting that how do we rescue the the uh, survivors from the collapsed building. This building we have taken up as a as an example of a collapsed building wherein the only way of survival is through the ropes and all. So uh, through you, I'd like to just uh, appeal to the public that kindly be aware of uh, the the, uh, the these kinds of disasters. So don't panic. Get prepared. We are going to be doing this exercise to just see what kind of coordination we are doing amongst all the. agencies and in the days to come we will be doing it at the community level at the very small level so that everybody is aware of what their roles and responsibilities and more importantly people should be sensitive about it. thank you